Hey guys, Carl here. <laughs> Another little uh, funny thing. So, <clears throat> the story of the bike E, the e-bike E. I entered college in 1991 in um, business, uh, the College of Business, Oregon State, 1992. This guy comes into class and tells us about this bike company he's going to build. Mind you, 1992. And we list this presentation, and I was like, that's amazing. What a, what a great idea. What a great idea. Anyway, long story short, I'm in the military. I'm in Chesapeake, Virginia, Virginia Beach. You know, I'm in both places here. And um, I decide I need a bike. I want to start riding. So I go into a bike store. And this thing's sitting on the shelf for $750. And I was like, wow, the son of a bitch did it. Can you believe it? That, I, it was the bike I bought. I mean, I was like, I met this guy. He, he did it. Well, I could, when I, this is a 21 speed at the time. I've taken them off, of course, the 21 speed at the time, and I could flat ground pedal this bike 37 miles an hour, keep up with traffic. I even did, you know, 40 miles on it one day. And, you know, life came around, quit riding. You know, we got out here, and in, uh, in 2008, I was online, and I found this uh, electronics kit. I was like, it was a uh, front wheel drive, you'll notice, because there's no sprocket or anything. And I still have all the parts, by the way. But there was no sprocket or anything like that. It was a front wheel drive unit, so you could, you could do all your pedaling, but then hit the throttle and do your thing regardless. Well, the front is too small, and this bike was, ended up being the perfect size. So I went ahead and up, welded up these brackets mounted all the electronics, built the battery box, and I went ahead and took both pedals, as you see. You can't pedal the bike anymore. They're just footrests now, and they allowed for uh, cushioning of the shocks, you know, the shock of the road and little bounces and stuff like that. But I don't keep the tires inflated real hard, nice little Kevlar tire, and it just ended up being what a great way that turned out. And um, this is only one battery replacement. This has probably been five years on this set since I built the bike in 2008. And um, she's still running like a champ. And uh, I did it so where, you see over here, all the electronics come in, they plug in one port, on off, and the same thing goes with a little charger over there. You plug it in. And when you plug in the charger, you plug in the charger, turn, turn it on, turn it off, get done. Plug the bike back into itself, on, off, with a little indicator right there, on, off. This little guy will do 20, 21 miles an hour for supposedly about 15 miles. Now I haven't really, I haven't really tested the long distance on it, but um, I'll tell you what. For a 12-year-old electric bike, I have zero complaint other than some of the shit peeling off the seat, which I can, uh, <laughs> which I could probably restable some more on. And um, I wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I'll shut this down. I'm going to go take it on a quick cruise, and I'm going to show you guys the trip over to my mother's. Go say hi to the folks. And uh, yeah. I was way ahead of my time on this one, and I wish they built them like this because once you ride a bike that you sit normal, you'll never want to ride a normal bike again. And I wanted to share that with you guys. All right. Well, as you see here, what I do with this bike is I shorten up the straps. I hang my backpack on the back. If it gets too heavy, it'll sit here, which, you know, how much better is that than wearing it on your back? When I used to wear a helmet, you know, it had to be up here. 
and I'd have a flashing LED in it. And um, yeah, she just, oh, one more other thing. I used to tow my kayak with a carabiner. My kayak, I had some wheels turned into a trailer and I could actually tow my 12 foot kayak on the bike. I did that in the campground years and years and years ago. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys on a drive over to mom's. I'll show you clips and pieces and parts of that and uh, show you that I'm not just uh, blowing smoke here. Reach down, power on, got some green, off we go. Here we go. Now this driveway is probably a lot steeper than it looks, but there's no pedal in here. And off we go. Care about traffic laws, so we we'll just do this. Car pulling in. No one over. So you just sit back. Put a drink in there if you want to. Can't lock her up when we get somewhere. And just kind of sit back all chill like and go for a ride. A lot more traffic than I expected during this time. All right then, now we're on our way home. See you later. We'll go the back way. Change the scenery. No cars. Here we go. Probably zipping along 
18, 19, 20 miles an hour. I'm not sure how well that's showing up. But see how if I uh, hit a bump or something like that, my feet just kind of stay planted. And legs, the weight of my legs kind of absorb, absorb the shock. It turned out so much better next time. for a little bit, enjoy some sunshine, and take care of business. Pretty well, how are you? That's okay. I am in no hurry. I'll just take what's there if you don't mind as you go along. Um, uh, if you could just uh, wait until I'm done, I would appreciate it. I'm supposed to keep six feet back from everybody. Uh, you know what? I'll be back later. Okay. Take care.
have you with that on there, of course. And that is as easy as it gets. Park her over here by the Suzuki. We'll plug her in later. We're good to go. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate you all. And we'll see you next time.